Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at conservation of momentum. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to look at is called the principle of conservation of momentum. The first important thing to realise is that during any interaction between objects, for example, a collision or an explosion in physics terms, momentum is conserved. And so this means the momentum before an interaction must equal the momentum after an interaction. We can define this more formally via something called the principle of conservation of momentum. And this states that the total momentum before an interaction action is equal to the total momentum after the interaction provided there are no external forces acting on the objects. Because if there were external forces acting on the objects, then they would be accelerating due to Newton's second law, and these unbalanced forces would be causing momentum to not be conserved. You should also be aware that the principle of conservation of momentum is sometimes known as the law of conservation of momentum. It's just another way of saying it. For two objects colliding in one dimension, we can write the principle or law of conservation of momentum mathematically. And we can do this by writing this thing here first of all. So we say the total momentum before is equal to the total momentum after, or in symbol terms, we can say that m1u1 plus m2u2 is equal to m1v1 plus m2v2. So this looks quite complicated, but we'll just break it down into what the parts mean. So first of all, we've got a left-hand side equals a right-hand side. So the left-hand side is before the interaction or collision, and the right-hand side is after the interaction or collision. So what do the individual symbols mean? Well, we have m1 and m2 are the masses of the first and second objects respectively, measured in kilograms. U1 and U2 are the initial velocities of the first and second objects respectively, measured in meters per second, and V1 and V2 are the final velocities of the first and second objects respectively, measured in meters per second. So there's nothing new here, we've just given mass, initial velocity and final velocity some subscripts. And the ones mean the first object and the twos mean the second object, because we'll often be dealing with two objects interacting with each other in these types of questions. Lastly, it says here to remember that velocity is a vector quantity, so you have to decide whether an object will have a positive velocity where it's moving to the right, or a negative velocity if it's moving to the left. So remember, the sign convention is going to be very important when you're doing problems on momentum and conservation of momentum. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it one of these, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.